morning, Genesis chapter 2, verse 17, reads as follows. But you must not eat from the tree of knowledge and of evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Verse 18, the Lord God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a help suitable for him. What we're getting from the scripture is that God gave what belonged to man and he put what belongs to him inside what belongs to man. So every time God gives you something, he puts what is his in what is yours. And this is not just to tempt you. It's so that what is his can protect what is yours. Because if you get what is yours without what is his in what is yours, you will lose what is yours. So God puts stuff that you must not eat and when you eat it, you will surely die. This is what happened to Adam. Adam was told not to touch, was told not to eat. But guess what? He ate what he was not supposed to eat before he finished what he was supposed to eat. And the Bible says he was chased away even from what belonged to him. Now when you touch what belongs to God, you lose even what is yours. I want you to know this, in every money that God gives you, there is money that belongs to Him, that is there to protect yours, in, that will protect what is yours. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that whatever God gives you, there is something that belongs to Him that you must not destroy. The time you have today does not all belong to you. Find time to go to your knees. There is some 30 minutes, there is some one hour that must be given to God in what is yours. God bless you. Bishop Pato, see you tomorrow.